Welcome to S. Chand VRX Virtual Reality Experience. You are now entering a virtual immersive experience. This will take some getting used to. Before we start, please sit in a comfortable chair. You can get a complete VR experience by moving. In this module, we are going to learn about the human digestive system. In this module, we are going to learn about the human digestive system. When we eat food, it gets broken down into smaller and soluble substances during digestion. The digested food is absorbed and utilized by our body. The undigested and unabsorbed portion of food is removed from the body in the form of waste matter called feces. The human digestive system consists of the alimentary canal and its associated glands. The various organs of the human digestive system in sequence are mouth, esophagus or food pipe, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. Let's observe the process closely by going inside the human body, the mouth. The digestion starts as soon as we put food in our mouth. As you can see, the mouth contains teeth and tongue. The teeth cut the food into small pieces, chew and grind it. The salivary glands secrete a watery liquid called saliva. Saliva is a digestive juice which helps to digest the starch present in the food partially. The slightly digested food is swallowed by the tongue and goes down into esophagus. Here you can see the partition between esophagus and the windpipe. The food goes into the esophagus and the air goes into the windpipe. Let's move further and enter the esophagus. The esophagus is a tube which connects the mouth to stomach. It is commonly known as food pipe. It runs along the neck and chest. As the food enters the esophagus at the top end, the muscles in the walls of esophagus start alternate contractions and relaxations, producing a wave-like movement. As you can see, this wave-like movement is pushing the food down towards the stomach. This process is called peristalsis. We have reached the end of the esophagus. Let's go further down into the stomach. The stomach is a thick walled bag present on the left side of the abdomen. It is the widest part of the alimentary canal. As you can see, the slightly digested food is arriving in the stomach from the esophagus. The food is further digested in the stomach. It is churned in the stomach for about three hours. During this time, the food breaks down into smaller pieces and makes a semi-solid paste. The inner lining of stomach secretes mucus, hydrochloric acid, and digestive juices. The partially digested food from stomach comes into small intestines. The small intestine receives secretions of digestive juices from the liver, pancreas, and its own walls. All these digestive juices carry out the complete digestion of food. The small intestine is a very long tube. It is about 7.5 meters in length. As you can see, there is a tube meeting the small intestine. This tube connects the liver and the pancreas with the small intestine. Liver secretes a liquid called bile 
which helps in digestion of fats. Pancreas secretes pancreatic juice which breaks down fats completely into fatty acids and glycerol. It also breaks down starch, carbohydrate and proteins into simpler forms. The walls of the small intestine secrete a digestive juice called the intestinal juice. It breaks down the starch carbohydrate completely into simpler sugar called glucose and the proteins into amino acids. This is called digested food. The digested food can now pass into the blood vessels in the walls of the small intestine. This process is called absorption. As you can see, the inner surface of the small intestine has tiny, finger-like outgrowths. These are called villi and are present in millions. Each villus has a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface. The surface of the villi absorbs the digestive food materials into blood through them. Each villus has a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface. The surface of the villi absorbs the digested food materials into the blood through them. Blood carries the absorbed food materials to the cells in all the parts of the body. In the cells, the food is used for energy, growth and repair. This is called assimilation. A part of food which cannot be digested by the food is called undigested food. It passes from the small intestine into the large intestine. The large intestine is about 1.5 meters long. It is called large intestine because it is quite wide. As you can see, the undigested and unabsorbed food from the small intestine enters into the large intestine. It absorbs most of the water from the undigested food material. Due to the removal of water, the undigested food becomes semi-solid. It is then stored in the last part of the large intestine called rectum for some time. The undigested semi-solid waste is passed out of our body through anus in the form of feces. This is called ejection.